My XP, the gas gauge never has worked on it. Now I could tell it's trying because it kind of, the low light, the low gas light would go on and off and the needle would just barely move off the E. And that does it whether it's full or not. So I know it's trying, but the problem is the setting unit that's attached to the fuel pump that of course is in the tank. So I got the new fuel pump. Now I could have just bought a sending unit, which is like 40 bucks, or I could have bought the whole fuel pump assembly with a new fuel pump and a new sending unit for a little bit more than just buying the sending unit by itself. So I'm going to show you how to get into this vehicle. And thankfully, Toyota, in all of its infinite wisdom, put an access hole right underneath the, the rear seat. So that makes it so much easier than dropping a tank. So if you have one of these and you want to change your fuel pump for whatever reason, first thing is come back here and this bottom seat pops off real quick. And you might want to know how to do this in case your kids make a mess and you need to pull this out for some reason. Just put your hands right under here underneath the ledge and just pull up and push the seat belts in. And look at that, it comes right out. And whoo! It is definitely dirty in here. And who, whoever had the vehicle before me, what is that? Well, that's a toothpick. Looks like they carried a Christmas tree in here. I mean, they may have. So, um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to pull this. Yeah. Okay. Take two. I'm going to pull this I'm going to push it out this way so I don't knock this light out over and ooh look at this a light bulb that's a keeper okay well, I'm going to clean this up and look at this here this is where the fuel pump is the access hole you just move this carpeted flat back and there it is and you just pry this up this is just a little protected to cover the wire you just prod this up with a screwdriver is this adhesive and then we should be able to get to where the pump is pretty girl okay this pull to the side that's just a guard to protect the wiring and i'm going to pull the wiring right here and just take a look and will it come up with just me pulling on it it starts to i'm going to pull up on a little bit get underneath this lip here and then start prying up it's just some adhesive that they got here. Now this is just to get to the to the top of the, the pump to pull it out. Ooh, I'm gonna have to blow all this off. This is nasty. Come on. Yeah, that's just pure nasty. But you know what I, I am going to do? I'm gonna go ahead and unclip this so I can set this to the side. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so what I did, I put the screwdriver. Can you see that? This tab needed to be pushed in. It was hard to do with my fingers, so I just went like that and then leveraged it and it popped it out. Okay, this one, I'm gonna push, it popped, and then back it out. And now I can set this all to the side. In fact, so I don't get the sticky stuff all over the place, I'm gonna set it over here. And there's only one way. You can't get this mess mixed up. It is, you know, they only go one way or the other. So if you look here, this is kind of neat because a lot of how did that get in there? A lot of um the top of a fuel pump has like a locking ring and you take a hammer and a screwdriver and tap it around. Thankfully that's not like this. This one's not like that. This one actually has bolts and you just back them out and it should come up. But before I do that, I don't know, this is insect drop-ins or road or, or both. I'm going to vacuum this up and then blow it off with compressed air. And, you know, just, I don't want anything falling in the tank. I'm going to try to take this clip off. Yep, pull straight toward me. I didn't need that. Yeah, I did. Huh. 
There it is. Oh no, don't fall. Don't fall. There it is. Woo! That almost went into uh, nowhere. I mean, just like couldn't get it. Okay, now that's out. This should twist out. Yep. It's going to twist out. Yeah, it's going to twist out. Maybe it's not going to twist out. What is holding? There it is. Okay, there's some gas coming out. And then this is going to come off. So it takes a number eight socket. There is a Phillips head on here, but might as well use a socket. I was tempted to use uh, my electric drill, but probably with fumes in the air, probably not a good idea for, you know, some electricity to be around it. So I'm just going to do this the manual way. And these bolts are really short, so just try to keep them from falling out. Oh, here's a fuel line, so you you squeeze it and you push back. I'm going to squeeze forward. Just so stiff. It doesn't want to it doesn't want to give. All right, here's the new new pump, and I thought before I go any further, let me take a quick look and make sure everything matches. So that, that's gone that way. And this, I guess this is a sensor or electrical plug-in, sits right on top of there. And then this goes that way. So yeah, it's identical. So I will have to pull that off of there. And I'm not sure what that's for, but it's for something. And it's going to be the same process with that yellow clip. Just pry in there with your screwdriver and pull it out. Put it to the side, and this should come straight up. Okay. All right, so this thing was being a pain. So you squeeze and then you push. Come out of there. I think it's just got trash. It doesn't want to release. Oh, finally. Okay, now I can take the pump off. Out. So, take my number eight. Loosen these. You know, I'm going to spray some electrical clean contact cleaner on that little this little sensor. Just, you know, put it in there nice and clean. Okay. Here's a moment of truth. Ow. Uh-huh. Looks like I had a half a tank in there. I didn't know it. And does it look rusty? There's some junk in there. Oh yeah, it's definitely crusty. Okay, let me come out here. See the rust build up on there? And there. Oh, and that's stiff. Oh, it probably would have read, but it is like, it doesn't even want to move freely. So yeah, that thing is it's garbage. It's not good. So that goes bye bye. And oh, there's some trash in here, but I mean I can't get it out. Not right now, I can't. You see all the debris down there? That's kind of rusty. So um, it's a good thing. I, yeah, this definitely rust. It's a metal tank, and over there, I may not be able to see it. Yeah, you kind of see it. That looks a little, little black spot. That there's a little rust. But this has a a filter sock on it, a strainer, and now keep that all that rust from going in there. If I had this tank emptied. I would um, definitely try to clean that out, but I don't have time for that today. And um, and let's say you, you like, well, 
if it kills, it's not going to get in there, but if it kills this pump, then I'll drop the tank and just replace it. But, um, I've seen, I've seen far worse. Okay. Anyway, here's a new pump that moves a lot freer. I mean, super free. So that's why I never would tell me what my gas was. And so this goes in, hold on, make sure none of this falls in there. Okay. Goes in like that. And just the same direction that that was oriented to. And, oh, I need that metal top to that one. Okay, I'm going to clean that up real quick. The new one has a new gasket, so I need to get that gasket on. So it has a nice seal. I'm going to clean this up real quick. You know what? I'm supposed to put this, slide it on the pump before I put the pump in there. <laughs> So I get gas everywhere. So, all right, let it drain out because it has like a a little cup that it you know surround the pump with. And of course, now it's all filled up with gas. So I'm gonna carefully, without damaging anything, slide this up. And voila, put this in here again. Okay, now, yeah, that's a lot better. And go ahead and take this plastic off because once it gets bolted in there, it's going to be a lot more difficult. And okay, this goes on next and it has a tab. That matches up with a little notch right here. So I'm gonna need to slide this on. Line up the tab. And you're like, this is not gonna fit. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then put the bolts back in it. Before you put your last, you know, bolts here, look at here. This protects the, the fuel line so it doesn't get broken. So that goes just like that. So you have to make sure you don't put those two bolts. If you do, take them out. But before we do that, let's hook our fuel line back up. And you see why it's a quick connect? Because it's connected now. A lot harder to take off normally because they just don't want to move. Um, they get set in their ways. And then this thing, I went and put some electrical contact cleaner. Just want to make sure it's nice and clean. And it just pushes on. Just like that. And then you take your little clips here and push it on. Now that's in there. And then we have this one here. Push that one on. And how did it go? Went this way. We'll get in there. Okay. And wow, it's right there. Before I do anything else, let me get this here. And then put these two bolts right here. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that move enough. Okay. Okay, before I connect these two, I gotta run them through this. Push that there. And then the gray one, there's only one connection it can go to. Right there, and then this one, I had it pointed this way, but it, it swivels, so I can easily put the connection back on it to snaps, and then I moved it back the way it was, and now this can go back on like so, and that glue, you know, you can get some more adhesive and put it down, I don't have that right now. But it's it's already there. Then take your little um, rubber grommet here, push it in place, and then we're gonna see if everything works. All right, before I put the seat back on, I'm gonna make sure that this thing kicks on, supplies fuel up there, and uh, see if my gas gauge works. I'm gonna cycle it on and off, let it build some pressure up. Because there should be nothing in the line right now. 
So cycle on. Oh, look at that. I said it was about a half a tank, right? There it is. I got a gas gauge again. No more guessing. Hey, look at that. Yay. All right, let's see if I crank. There, it, start, it stumbled a little bit because it's trying to get the air out of the line. Okay, let me try it again. It should do a lot better this time. All right. Guys, I really, really enjoy this vehicle. Now, next thing I need to do is give it a paint job. And that's coming. But um, more and more I drive this XB, the more, dare I say, I almost love it. Okay? So all I got left now is to just put the seat back on, run the seatbelt um, fasteners through it, and then I'll be good to go. If you like this kind of contact, if contact contact if you like this content please like and subscribe share it if you got somebody's got one of these and really what i just did here it, it really applies to even your vehicle any modern vehicle it's going to have an in the tank fuel pump and that's pretty much how it is now uh sorry if you don't have an access hole you have to go underneath total pain but you know Toyota on this, they did they did the consumer right. So mailman mechanic, see you at the mailbox.